What's up everyone, welcome to today's video, welcome to the Video Game Fight School channel, thank you very much for tuning in. I guess the news is broken, Gotham Knights is going to have a 4 player mode, co-op mode, that is coming in November of this year. This is not launching with the game, and for most of us, we've suspected that this is probably going to be a thing. First of all, remember, on the PlayStation page a while ago, there was something that actually mentioned up to four-player co-op, but then that got removed or changed, and then eventually we didn't hear anything else. And all the developers had said is that it was going to only be two-player co-op. So this new mode seems to me to be a new addition to all of this. Now, you know what's actually crazy about all of this is the developers are naming this some kind of a heroic assault. It's going to seem to me like some kind of a raid or something. And this is what it is that they want to bring to the mode. So here on Twitter, they announced Gotham Knights has thrown down a new gauntlet, heroic assault. The free four player co-op experience is coming to Gotham Knights November 29, 2022. Learn more at Gotham Knights dot com slash heroic assault. I think this is something that's probably going to be close to Ghost of Tsushima, the way they actually brought out the entire pve mode where people could run and raid and beat bad guys now i want to go ahead and show you guys something that i saw a while ago Eurogamer, when they actually did their own gameplay preview the commentator here was the only one who mentioned or alluded to anything like this in their commentary i thought at that time it was a big mistake in fact i made a video saying that i think some of these previewers don't know what they're talking about but apparently it seemed like somebody may have slipped this information to the press and october 5th it was actually out there but we just didn't know so let me play this clip for you guys so you can hear her say it herself more than, it's more than two player co-op? Yeah, so with Gotham Knights, you can play up to four people, so all three of us could play together, which is sick. Holy crap, that is going to be awesome. We're going to be fighting it out to see who plays which character. Are you kidding me? This was already out there at that time. I thought it was a big mistake. I didn't think that, you know, the presenters knew what they were talking about. It could, however, have been a mistake. But like I said, this is something that we've been seeing hints for coming into the game. Now... Avengers. I've already started seeing the comments. This is going to be Marvel's Avengers. Blah, 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 blah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a core part of the game. So maybe you don't want to play a four player co op mode in PvE. That's probably fine. It's not something that I'm averse to. Having played Tom Clancy's The Division and The Division 2 for so many years, I'm actually dialed into four player setups. And I think it really does bring in the one thing that is in a sense, missing from why in the world they went with the RPG-esque nature of this game. A lot of the systems seem to be really built towards you actually making your way into this, you know, game mode and, you know, buffing other members of your team and so on and so forth. So if they're able to do something that brings this out, maybe it could work. At the end of the day too, ladies and gentlemen, you can also ignore the mode. So again, it is something that I'm certain that everybody's going to choose as to how it is that they want to go ahead and approach this game mode when it actually becomes, uh, you know, available for everyone to play. Also, let's take a look at what audiences think about this. This just posted a few minutes ago. I usually like to show, you know, stuff that's out here from the community, show what people are actually saying. And to me, it sounds actually, you know, interesting to see what everyone is doing. So Pablo, four player co-op, Heavy reaction, quite surprised. I feel you, bro. I was almost as surprised as you, but I'd been hearing these hints all over the place. Breno says, just imagine the four knights using offensive momentum abilities at once in a single player adversary. He will be dead before hitting the ground. Well, Breno, one thing they usually do is whenever you have four players, they'll scale the game. So if you're doing three players in the mode, they might scale it to suit three players or they might make it four player all the way. Maybe you and a teammate can go into a uh, somewhat uh, challenge yourselves. I'm Life of Dredge. You said promo team are moving super savage. <laughs> Bro, they've been savage all week, man. They've been going nuts. Um, someone says we have three weeks to get builds ready for this after release. Say less. This is probably going to increase the grind once the game comes out. Multiplayer. People are excited. Excited. Massive W here by Caboose. Let's go. Unfortunately, I have one other friend uh, to play with, but still, it's awesome. I think this is where Discord servers are going to come into play. I'm still contemplating if I want to start a Discord server for this game, honestly, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to have the time, but we'll see. Uh, some people are saying it's probably going to be a big issue. Some people are saying it's going it's not. So there will still be all kinds of different possibilities out there surrounding all of these different aspects and fans are going to basically interact with it as they wish. But anyways, 
I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. At the end of the day, it's how you all are going to be interacting with it that is much more important to me. So talk to me in the comment section. I apologize for the noise. There are many kids in the house right now. We're on break. And so if you hear babies running around and crying and whatever, that's basically exactly what it is. This is how I make videos, folks. I literally have to make videos under a thunderstorm of noise. And sometimes it is a harrowing experience. But sometimes I make it through like this one. Talk to you all soon. Got to go find out what the heck is going on. Peace out.